Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back and welcome all of you to another part of Horizon Zero Dawn. We are now in the Into the Frozen Wilds DLC and we have a little quest right here so let's see what it is. Also we have a new outfit right here which definitely isn't as strong as our last one but well that's what we have to live with. You seem sad stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes, a sudden deluge without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place. And a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy or remembering? So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like. But I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Well, good question. And... This quest will actually lead us a good bit up there. But that's also kind of along our way because we also want to get to... Uh, the tall neck right here. But I remember this tall neck being a bit of a pain, so don't expect too much. Also, that is the water lodge. That is our main quest. So, again, we want to go up here, period. Also, I just realize because there is blue gleam to be found naturally. So, can we... Animal figures. Okay, we don't have the bones for these things just yet, but we definitely want to have the maps for those. Uh, until we have the things, we will most likely just run around uh, blind and empty. One day, the stone of the den was dry. Well, there you go. I'm muttering on about that again. We're just gonna go forward here. We're just gonna grab the quests because they're gonna lead us all over the place, and I don't wanna just try and run straight for whatever. About how this demon affects the machines. I've gotta find Araya. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Well, then we will do that. Also, that looks really Outland. interesting. Wait, wait a moment. I, I will? What is it? That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear. I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Well, I'm gonna do that. Secret shard. For that, we're gonna have to go a long freaking way. We're gonna do that. But now there's a start. Also, just wanna show you that. That looks really freaking cool. I love how the water pools in this area look like because they add dye into them and give them this really cool hue and I, I just love this place. 
Anyway, we're gonna make our way towards our main quest here at the beginning. Because why not? Also, we need to look out for some... Uh, wildlife, because... We still want to have uh, certain pieces. There we go. And I wanna have goats. Problem is, they are running away from us right now. Ah, that is behind the rock. Oh, come on. There we go. Just stand there. It's perfectly fine for me. Also, apparently I just shot a... <laughs> arrow just Dead. randomly... <laughs> at a group of people. Well, interesting. There's some Karja here. Want to talk about stuff with me? May the sun grant you a, a portion of its wisdom, young huntress. Well, thank you. Don't seem to be interested in me. Honestly, none of them do, so whatever. We're just gonna move forward towards this weird symbol there up top. Gonna explain itself eventually, I hope. I know it. You know, I'm just playing dumb because I played through the game already. So, gobble gobble, but I'm not interested in the gobble. I'm interested in the goats though. Uh, there's a goat all the way up there, so I'd be interested in shooting that thing because we definitely need its bones. And stand. Well, that's not gonna give me anything. What was that? That must be Naltuk, looking out of that tower. It oh. looks like it's sending out a pulse or signal. Interesting. What is going on here? Naltuk. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The demon's energy pulses from them, rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this demon was frenzying machines. Look there, those with the purple markings. They belong to the demon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before, a corruption. But it wasn't from your demon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? Those are new to me too. Like I said, they empower the Daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. <coughs> I'm sorry. All right, you want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. So, we have a Daemon uh, thing here. A tower. Overrides the tower. That is the thing here. The... Let's go with that bow. The machines gonna get regenerated by the tower. You can take them out before they get regenerated, but doesn't tend to be the thing that you might want to do. Also because these machines are tough. So we can Maybe I could override it. Yeah, uh, control tower. Repairs and provides shock resistance to hostile machines. Stunts override machines. Has no weaknesses and no strength. It has a cooling element destroyed to remove the ability to repair hostile machines. And they override point. Override, 
Overriding removes repair and resistant ability stuns hostile machines. So, what I would recommend you doing, because this uh, cooling thing pops out and is responsible for the healing of the machines. See if you cannot take that out. Here we go again. And now we just have to deal with the machines. And honestly, if you have dealt with the machines beforehand, not too big of a deal. Especially since most of them are honestly not difficult to deal with or any different than what you're used to from the base game. Got you taken care of and there you go. Where is that? There you are. They are not as dangerous anymore as they were before. They are still uh, dem demonic but honestly at this point they are more of a pushover than they were before. Also we need to be careful now. We do not have our healing ability and our shield ability anymore so we definitely need to be careful with what we do with the machines. I recommend you do jump these a little bit. Whoops. And see what you can do. Whoops. Whoops. And always stay on top of what the machines are doing to you. Or try to do it that. Whoops. But at this point, if you uh, played through the rest of the game already, it's not that big a deal anymore. You can deal with just any normal machines like that. The problems come with bigger things that we will see later on. Also, give me the, give me your stuff. Just because, uh, why not? You have some interesting parts and I want them. You are like a warrior. I, I'm not just like a warrior, my friend. I, I am. So, as you can see, we took out the tower. We're gonna go for the override next time. Even though I wanna say that this tower right here is technically the easiest one to go and override. But I'm gonna show to you what that looks like as well. Because there's a few more. So. Now we know how to deal with the machines and the towers. The daemon's next. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the Shaman's Path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. Sure thing, no problem. Where do we have to go exactly for that? Well, up there. So, there is the fun thing. We have the waterlogged uh, thing right in front of us, so we can deal with that, no problem. We also have some... S but also, let's go over there. Right. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. 
Yeah, but not right now. First, we're gonna go and get ourselves a tall neck, which I want to point out. I think the most frustrating tall neck in all of Horizon Zero Dawn. So this one will be a joy. A tall neck? What did it take to knock one of those over? See that? The last. So there is, is the tall neck. It's big and frozen over and fell into the snow. And the best way to get to it is by just quickly dealing with all of the small fry around it because there is a lot and you could just avoid them and try to get, climb up there but they're gonna be annoying so I recommend you go and take out these things before you go whoopsie before you deal with the tall neck also uh, these favorite things as always come on down I know you want to be down here Um, that was interesting. First of all, I did not get... Oopsie. I did not uh, get the critical strike, but I kind of just stood on it while I was taking off. Which makes me feel like you maybe can stand on them while they try to fly away. Which I don't know if it is a good idea or not, because that seems like a good way to get yourself killed fast. The fact that I hit you with that is already a shame. There you go, come on down. Why do you have to fall down there? That's the last of the scavengers. Well. Should scan the tall neck. See how deep the damage goes. Well, I can scan it. it. Looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. But it was inside its head. And this is why this tall neck is the most frustrating one to deal with. First of all, you have all of these little critters around here. Uh, prote essentially protecting it. But also, you will have to go and find uh, its pieces. So we're gonna activate the quest and there you see where these pieces are. Also, there's something purple here. And there's also some scavengers here. Technically I don't need to take them out, but I mean they're right there and they're frustrating and I do not like them, so... There you go. If you can find your way towards me, good job, but if you can't... Don't run away from me, you can see me exactly. Ah, damn it, too high. And one more for good measure. Okay, let's go and grab ourselves some pieces. They are sadly strewn around in rather pre precarious spots. And all of these pieces are also guarded by some machines. So the tedium behind it is a lot. So you best be ready for trying to take them out. First of all, You're not gonna be the one to stop me. I just realized something. I don't have that. Give me a moment. Because we got ourselves a new sling. Uh, let's go for the sling instead for the moment. Oh, I don't have anything for that. Um, they're gonna. I know they're coming closer. I technically do not care about that. Blow them up. As you can see, these are demons. Demons. So they are stronger. But I mean... Strong is just another word to say, uh, blow them up. Damn. No more of these. Not too necessary. There you go. Oh yeah, those are stickies. For a moment I was concerned why that didn't do anything. Whoops. 
and another one just for good measure my friend hey buddy there you go none of them hit uh, sticky bombs not as effective it's just uh, the normal blast bombs so there's one more in there is that one interested in us or not? I need this. Ah, you look far away, enough away. So I'm not gonna concern myself with you. And actually, I think I do need to worry myself with you. Oh, wait, no, down there. Down there is the part. I don't need to worry myself about you. Because you were holding on to it. One of them has the piece that we're looking for. The Tallneck Arrive. Luckily for us. Next up is over there. I'm gonna stick with the bombs that we have right now. Just gonna craft myself a few more. Since we have the capabilities right now. This one is a scary one. Because this is a scorcher, so you best be ready to blow the thing up. Boom! How did that not hit you? Upside is spaghetti. Come towards me. I placed so many bombs here for you. Whoops. Oh gosh, that was actually... A lot closer than I thought you were going to be. Gonna dash at us. Again, Scorchers, scary. Scary, scary, oh, scary. And hurt a lot and deal a lot of damage. Deserve to get blown up. Okay, I need, let's just do that here. And then we're gonna go for our arrows. Whoops. Whoops. As always, dodge, jump, and try and take them out as smooth as possible. And take their weak spots. Whoops. We also can take out the thing with its mine launcher now, but I'm gonna take that one to the next spot with me. Scary things. Scary, scary machines. Also, super talented parts. Spinning in, sp spinning in places. So we need to go in here. Yeah, best be ready for demonic scrappers. I still cannot sprint with heavy machinery, which is a little bit frustrating, but whatever. One more. That should deal with it. Honestly, it didn't, which is even more sad. Big explosions. Nice. And take whatever we can find. And also, right here, we have some blue gleam. Oops. Meant to take that. So we will find machines that have just blue crystals on them. Blue gleam. That's it. We're already gone. Well, we are not is the thing. Last piece is up there. We're gonna keep the launcher with us just to take out whatever we can take out with it. There is a water over there. We're gonna make our life a little bit easier if I blow it up with not our uh, ammunition. I don't know if... Uh, we will have some effect against some flying units with that, but... Boom. But there's a lot of stuff com coming down here. There we go, that was beautiful. Well, they will always be looking for us, Aloy. That, that is gonna be the given of the problem. The given problem is that they will always be looking for us. So the problem is, we have to climb up, so we cannot take that with us any longer. So 
So it's time to climb up and sadly take on more freaking Glintogs. My favorites. I hate them. Come on down. Okay, took out one of them. There you go. Where are you going? While you bomb me, I'm gonna freeze you. Oh, there you are. Whoops. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Stop it. Don't move. Cool. And we have everything that we ever could have asked for. Now all we need to do is go back to the tall neck. <sighs> do not like this. But we got the pieces for the tall neck. And I definitely look forward to getting us some better gear because right now <laughs> right now we don't have the best thing that we can have and that's that's bothersome. I mean, we could just stick with the armor that we used at the very end of the game, but that's not that's not the fun of things here. Anyway, let's attach tall neck actuator. Well, that fits. Sure, hope it works. Perfect. There's more things to put in place down here. Well, it's in better shape than it was. I mean, it was completely destroyed, so I think we did a good service here. Well, let's see if we can do it. That should wake you up. Now all we have to do is get on up there. It's not gonna even notice me attacking. So good thing. This should be a good spot for jumping onto the tall neck. Yeah, but sadly we were a little bit too late there. Uh, there's another one over there. I hope I can make it there in time. I'm not sure. There's also scrappers again. That is what makes this such a hassle. Machines are back. So all, all we're really gonna do right now, because I don't care about the machines too much. Gonna be fine. Yep, we did not get that. That is highly, highly upsetting that we did not get that. Oh boy. Well. Uh, this is a long path that it takes and there's a lot of machines. So you know what, I'm just... I'm just gonna stand here and wait. Right here. So, there you are, my dear tall neck. I was waiting for you. I was hunting a little bit of small fry, a little bit of animals, just so that I had to do something. Whoop. But for the most part, I literally was just waiting for the tall neck to come back so that I can climb it. So up we go. So that we can do something here. We go, beautiful, and override. Also now it's really dark, so we cannot really see anything beautiful of the landscape here. Which, 
which is such a shame because this landscape seeing it from up here would be so beautiful and we cannot see anything because it's so dark now <sighs> which is frustrating tell me tell you what but there we go we see the full map except for this little corner right here which we do not see a tall neck in even so this place is just clouded by just sheer itself but we can see everything now we see that there's a bandit camp over there there's some cool things here there's a lot more towers everywhere there is a bunker over here there is a hunting ground here and these towers are also strewn around everywhere so we're gonna take care of these towers as well there's a blue gleam trader around every corner that we need but for right now we are down here our next goal will be to go to this quest to the lake and deal with this before we then head on forward and gradually make our way up there because this will be for the most part right now a little bit of an end goal here despite the fact that you can see that this will be the end goal because this is clouded but anyway i'm going to leave this episode right here i hope you all enjoyed it i surely did and hope to see all of you next time bye